Starting in January, UPS will allow pregnant workers to switch to temporary light duty positions if needed, something that had only been available to workers injured on the job. But the change in policy comes too late for Peggy Young. My doctor recommended me not lift anything over 20 pounds. Pregnant at the time, Young, a delivery driver, gave her doctor's note to her bosses. UPS explained to me that they do not provide light duty for pregnancy, that I, you know, I had to go home till I was no longer pregnant. Which left Young at home for seven and a half months without health benefits, wages, or pension contributions during that time. Young sued UPS. Seven years later, her case has gone all the way to the Supreme Court. It has wider implications for for uh, women across the country uh, who become pregnant uh, while working and uh, who want to keep working during their pregnancy. UPS spokeswoman Kara Gerhardt Ross tells the Associated Press the law is on the company side that UPS did not intentionally discriminate. She says the company recently updated workplace policies to attain and retain the best workforce. UPS realized even without needing a court order that it ought to change its ways. Several groups filed briefs in support of Young. So other employers know their legal obligations and so we can make sure that pregnant women are treated equally. For Young, who left UPS in 2009, she says the fight is about more than seeking damages. And I don't want my two daughters, when they decide to start their families, that they have to choose between having a baby and supporting their families. A choice she believes no other woman should have to make. Hannah Bookdahl, Associated Press.